Hey, what up fellas today? It's finally happening, man. We're going in with the fly rod and we're gonna catch him. 100% we're gonna catch him on this. Boom, check it out. That's what we're going with. Got some poppers, some clousers, some minnow patterns, and some other random stuff. Well, I've seen you once, maybe twice, but we get along just fine. So just give me some, I'll me your time. All right, let's step on some stingrays. Oh, he got it. Oh my God, dude. I think we just sidecasted a sheeper. Dude, I've tried sidecasting sheep's head. This is the first one, nice. I've tried. Last time, okay, last time I was trying to catch some sheep's head on the fly. I sat and casted at two sheep's head for about 30 minutes. They kept looking at it, didn't want to take it. And finally, one took it. He immediately just took off and cut me off in about three seconds. And that's all of 30 minutes of work. This guy, we got him. Maybe it's a drum even. Dang, it's an LG, but I'll take him. I think we got the perfect fly for this guy too, little, little shrimp fly. Dang, that was so cool. He looks like he's coming in sideways. What is it? Is it maybe it's a drum? Oh, it, oh no, it's a sheep's head, little sheep's head. Let's go, dude, sick. Oh, the only thing I just thought of is he might destroy my fly with his crazy teeth. Dang, sick, man, awesome. On the fly? Let's go. This is the first fish I've cast it to. Bang! No way, dude. That's sick. He ate up that fly. That's so cool. Little shrimp fly. Awesome, man. On a fly, dude? This is, I love it. This is payback for the sheep's head that cut me off after trying to get him for 30 minutes. Nice. Dang. Ha! <laughs> it's looking, it's looking a little bit rough. All right, big fella. Awesome, man. Imagine you catch, hook up on a giant sheep's head. Doesn't look like much out of the water, but you put it in the water, it looks pretty cool. So I've already seen like three sheep's head in like 10 minutes, not even moving too far. So I think we're gonna have a, a lot of shots. It's pretty sick to see him up so shallow. You can find some reds. I think they're gonna be a little bit deeper though, around some actual grass. Uh, right here, it's crazy. It's just, I mean, how deep is that? Eight inches? Nope. There it is, there it is. You gotta see that, bud. Does he want it? Can't tell if he sees it or not. He's gonna see me after this cast. Oh, I hit him on the head, dude. I scared him. Damn it, and he saw me. <laughs> Five feet in front of me while I'm messing with. He's gonna see me 100%. No, I almost just dropped it. Why is he coming straight for me, boys? He's gonna see this, right? Or maybe not. Oh my god, no way dude, that's sick. What the hell? How did that sheep said not see me dude? That's freaking insane. That was so awesome, man. That's I had like a bird's eye view of this fish like chasing down my fly because he was six feet in front of me. Sheep setters get super spooky too. And he did not even see me. And I was like messing around trying to move this around. I think this reel used to have drag, but it doesn't really work. It doesn't apply much pressure at all. That was sick, dude. I, this one's fighting better than the last one, too. If we get a big sheep's head, that thing's gonna fight like crazy, especially on the fly. So far, this shrimp fly, dude, it's looking pretty good. Is that like 
that might be two out of two like of our good presentations i mean that wasn't even a good presentation i kind of just slowly moved it in front of him which i guess and he ate it up he was like tracking it down it looked like he was just nosing on it but he actually had it in his mouth already before i even realized bang wow look at that Woo boy you guys want to get chomped you want to get chomped on by that i do not another decent little sheeper dude let that guy go <laughs> that was crazy talking about we're talking about opportunities. That was a sick opportunity right there. This is one of the best looking shrimp flies I've had. It makes me not even want to switch. I kind of want to try different stuff, but if it's working, it's working. Oh, he's right in front of me. It's like last time. I'm just gonna let him come to it. Instead of casting at him, we should probably spook him. He's right in front of me, it's just like last time. Eat it. He doesn't want it. <laughs> it was right in front of him. It was an inch from his face, maybe because we got weeds on it. He didn't want it. Oh, wow. Got a blue crab, I think. Weird looking blue crab. Let's see if we can catch him. Oh, he went for it. Get it, bud. <laughs> As you can tell, I haven't seen a fish in a while. There's our red. Let's go, dude. There's our red. Finally. Wow, he was in. We're a little bit deeper now. We're in one of these. There's a little sand pocket right here. He was just cruising right there. Let's go, dude. There's our red. You'd love to see it. No, the, the one to one gear ratio is not keeping up with the red. I think I'm gonna have to play him a little bit light. I think I got a knot in my tippet just from being a bad flycaster. It's sick. <laughs> I'm telling you, the red. Oh, is there another red right there? Red fish are supposed to be the easy ones to catch. Not a huge one, but not a, not a bad guy either. This is what I love about using flies too. They're pretty damn realistic, dude. A lot of times, if, if you don't spook the fish, they're not really gonna turn it down. They're gonna eat it up, especially if it's a little shrimp fly. Come here, bud. Got him. We got him. There it is. Look at that. Beautiful little fly in that red's mouth. Sick, dude. Psh, little guy, we'll take him all day. Let's get that fly out and let him go in this super skinny water. Two stingrays coming at me. Let's go. Look at this. What, 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 they're trying to surround me, dude. Oh, something came up. No, that was me. That was just my GoPro. <laughs> they, they're literally splitting. There you go. Go that way, bud. Get out of here. Dang it. They messed up my chance at this red, too. There he, there he is. Finally. Hook up, dude. Oh, I think there's a bunch of reds there. Let's spook some of them. We got these guys. Wow, oh, freaking time, dude. Been, I must have been waiting for like 40, 45 minutes just throwing that freaking sheep's head. Come here, bud, you're done. Jeez. Can I get this guy? Bad, bigger than I thought. Damn, no wonder he's finding decent. I thought it was a, like a 19 incher. Bang. Whew, finally. Not bad. Not bad, little guy. Well, unfortunately, the wind kept picking up, so it's blowing a little bit too hard for my fly fishing skills. So, we're gonna use the exact opposite the good old fashioned spinning reel. But now we do have the opportunity to get into some big reds and maybe a lot of them.
Nope, we did not catch another single fish. Proving, this proving that fly fishing is the superior method of fishing if you want to catch a ton of fish. The fly fishing setup we're using is an eight weight, I think it's a TFO NXT black, black label. It's one of the cheapest rides actually. And uh, we just have a super cheap reel on there as well from Orvis, I believe. I first started fly fishing about a year after I started fishing in the first place. Uh, the one thing that kept me from fly fishing is on forums and speaking to other fly fishermen is they always said, don't waste your money on a junk setup. You know what I did? I went out and bought a fly fishing, complete fly fishing setup for $18. It was on sale. It came with a rod. It came with flies. It came with line and it was pretty trash, but you know what? I learned how to throw it. I had so much fun casting a ton of bass on it, even some decent ones. So that's one thing I would say about fly fishing. If, if you can handle some, you know, not as good equipment, if it doesn't bother you too much and you just want to try it out, then I say go for a cheap setup. You know what that reminds me of? I used to make my own flies and uh, I didn't have a vice grip, which you usually use to make flies. I had uh, a pair of hemostats. Maybe I'll show you a few of my creations right now. Check out that expertly crafted bass popper right there made out of balsa wood. <laughs> Little, I don't even know what that is out the back. And of course, every beginner fly maker always adds a lot of rubber legs to their stuff. Now the lake I used to fish a lot, we had a lot of dragonflies. So tied up a couple of these guys. As you can tell at the time, I didn't have a lot of money. So we used the absolute cheapest materials. We've got the foam and we've got the deer hair, but it looks half, half decent, all right? I would say on this guy, we got a little bit experimental. What the hell is even that? Actually, this could help keeping some weeds off. And I don't know, maybe I thought they would see this yellow and they'd want to hit it. And then we have one of the all time favorites that can catch just about any fish. The woolly bugger just looks like, I don't know, some kind of creature going through the water. And one of my favorite flies to throw for just about anything. Hey, please do not be too harsh on my flies, right? I made these like 12 years ago with a hemostat, all right? With the cheapest materials. And maybe I just sucked at it. I love you guys very much. Talk to you guys next time.